Hey friends, welcome to Learn with Lakshman again. In the last video, we have talked about the phrases in general. Today, we're going to talk about noun phrase in particular. Friends, before beginning to talk about the noun phrase, let me tell you to go back to the video on nouns and watch it once so that you understand noun phrase in a better way and easily. The link of the video on nouns is provided in the description box of this video. Now, let's begin to speak about noun phrase in particular. We have seen that phrase is a group of words that has a specific grammatical function. Noun phrase is also a group of words that has a specific grammatical function. But how is it differentiated from other phrases? It is differentiated from other phrases by its name. Because a noun phrase functions at the place of a noun or a pronoun. In other words, noun phrase can be defined as a group of words that functions exactly at the place of a noun or a pronoun. Let's try to understand this with an example. The example is, man is mad. Now, in the example, man is mad, man is a noun, is is a verb, and mad is an adjective. Man functions as the subject of this sentence and mad functions as the complement of this sentence. As we are discussing noun phrase here, let's talk about the noun only. The word man is noun here in this sentence and it functions as the subject of this sentence. Now look at this sentence, the man is mad. In this sentence, the subject is the man and it is not a single word but a group of two different words namely the and man. As it is a group of words in which noun is important, that is man is important, it is called noun phrase. Man is the head of this noun phrase and the is the pre-modifying part. Now look at the third example, the man in black shoes is mad. In this sentence, the man in black shoes is the subject, is is the verb and mad is the complement. Man is the head word in this group. If there is no man in this group, this group would have no meaning at all. As man is the head of this group of words and it is a noun, this group of words is called a noun phrase. The is pre-modifying part of this noun phrase and in black shoes is the post-modifying part of this noun phrase. Now look at these sentences. Man made money. He made a lot of money. The old man made a lot of money. Women are beautiful. They are beautiful. Those brave women are very beautiful. Usha runs fast. She runs fast. The tall girl of Koji Code runs very fast. All the underlined words in these sentences are the examples of noun phrases. There is always a head word in a noun phrase. It can be a noun, a pronoun, or a noun-like word. It is the compulsory part of the noun phrase. There may be words preceding the head or following the head. The words preceding the head are called pre-modifiers and words following the head are called post-modifiers. It's not necessary that a noun phrase has pre-modification and post-modification every time. Sometimes it can have pre-modification and post-modification together. Sometimes it can only have pre-modification and sometimes it can only have post-modification. And sometimes it may not have the pre-modification and post-modification as well. In grammar, even a single noun or pronoun functioning as subject, object or complement in the sentence is also called a noun phrase. Look at these examples. Man of the match. One beautiful bird, the old monk of Tibet, one of the ten old monks of Tibet. All the underlying words in these examples are the examples of the head of that noun phrase and the part preceding it is called pre-modification and the part following is the example of post-modification in that noun phrase. A noun phrase is generally classified into three parts, that is head, pre-modification and post-modification. Head is the compulsory part of the noun phrase. There cannot be a noun phrase without the head. 
it can be without the pre modification and without the post modification but it cannot exist without a head the central part of a noun phrase is the head it is the most important part of np it is obligatory as no np is possible without the head usually head of a np is a noun but a pronoun or a noun like word can also be the head of a noun phrase to understand and analyze np it is essential to locate the head of a noun phrase once the head is located it becomes easy to identify and analyze the phrase the words preceding the head of a noun phrase are called pre modifiers while those following the head are called post modifiers the processes are called pre modification and the post modification respectively look at these examples extremely strong five men in the boxing ring he who loves us all one of the boys and a girl all the underlined words in these examples that is men he boys and girl are the heads of the respective noun phrases the structure of a noun phrase includes a head pre modification and post modification now let us understand what are the words or the groups of words that can form the part of the pre modification in the noun phrase the pre modification part of a noun phrase consists of predeterminers determiners quantifiers numerals adjectives participles noun modifiers and genitives pre modification is the part of np that precedes its head that is pre modifiers are the words that precede the head or that come before the head see these examples a man the girl all the girls some of the girls some of the beautiful girls in the class the underlined part in these examples is the pre modification let's try to understand the determiners first friends remember that determiner is a functional category it's a pre modifier that determines the reference range of a noun or a noun group noun phrase expresses a range of meanings some of which are more definite and specific than others words such as a an the some this that these those his her their etc are used to show this definiteness of the meaning such words which are used to show the definiteness of a meaning are called determiners according to some grammarians numerals and quantifiers are also the determiners they put them into the category of post determiners we are going to consider quantifiers and numerals separately not in the category of determiners the determiners that we are studying now are generally referred to as central determiners in many of the books of grammar these determiners include words like articles demonstratives and possessives in its basic form demonstratives and possessives are called adjectives demonstratives are actually demonstrative adjectives and possessives are possessive adjectives and it is also said that articles are also basically adjectives we consider all these words as adjectives because these words modify the noun and all those words which modify the noun come into the category of adjectives we all know that there are two types of articles called definite articles and indefinite articles a and an are indefinite articles while the is the definite articles as far as demonstratives are concerned this that these those some any each and every are the examples of demonstratives and possessives are my your yours our his her its their look at these examples where articles are functioning as the pre modifiers a pen is kept in the box an ugly cat ate the rat the man spoiled the plan see these examples in which demonstratives are functioning as the pre modifiers this dog belongs to rohit that boy is very clever these girls are going today those trees are beautiful some men entered the house every dog has his day 
Each candidate fills the form. The examples in which possessives function as the pre-modifiers are My love is like a red red rose. India is our country. He is your brother. Her name is Mukta. I love my country and its varied heritage. They have eaten their chocolates. These were the examples of articles, demonstratives and possessives functioning as determiners in the noun phrase. Now let's try to understand predeterminers. Predeterminers are the words that precede the determiners. Predeterminers are generally the words that tell us the quantity of the noun. But they specifically occur before a determiner. Look at these examples. All the birds flew away. He is one of my friends. She is one of the intelligent girls in the class. Each of the boys got a chocolate. Some of their relatives live in London. The predeterminers are all, one of, half, half of, quarter of, some of, a few of, many of, both, both of, each of, one third of, and so on. Numerals and quantifiers. The words showing number and the quantity of a noun are called numerals and quantifiers respectively. These are also adjectives basically. It should be remembered that many modern grammarians consider numerals and quantifiers as the post determiners and they put them into the category of determiners. Numerals. The words showing number of a noun are called numerals. There are two types of numerals called ordinal numerals and cardinal numerals. Ordinal numerals show the order while cardinal numerals show the number of the noun. Ordinal numerals are first, second, third, fourth, tenth, hundredth, next, last, etc. Look at these examples. The first man in the room was given an apple. Monica is the second girl in the first row. Adarsh is his next child after Rituja. I'll not be the last man to learn Latin. Cardinals show the number. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 100, 1000, lakh, crore, etc. Look at these examples. She has two children. The first five girls in the class became famous. She has 1000 rupees in her pocket. I called last three boys. Quantifiers. The words which show the quantity of a noun in the noun phrase are called quantifiers. The examples of the quantifiers are much, many, few, little, several, lot of, a lot of, ample, etc. Now try to understand quantifiers with the help of these examples. There are many mangoes in the box. Much water is needed for this building. Several people migrated to other parts of the country. There is little water in the glass. I have talked to a lot of learners. Have a look at these examples also. A cat ate the rat. In this example, A is an article and the determiner. One of the cats ate the rat in which one of is a predeterminer and the is the determiner. One of the first five cats ate the rat in which one of is the predeterminer, the is the determiner, first is ordinal, five is cardinal. And the last example, first ten cats ate the rat in which the word first is the ordinal numeral and ten is the cardinal numeral. It is also necessary to remember that numerals are also adjectives. The part of pre-modification further includes adjectives. Adjectives are the words that describe the noun. Adjectives is an open word class. The adjectives are described separately in the video called adjectives. You can go back to that video and watch it. Some examples of adjectives are big, small, red, green, fat, thin, ugly, beautiful, clever, intelligent, nice, good, bad, wonderful, brave, coward, etc. Look at these examples and try to understand adjectives as the pre-modifiers. She is a tall girl. Madhuri is a beautiful girl. One of the fat boys is missing. Sonam is a very good friend. Know more about the adjectives. 
go to the video on adjective phrase and watch it participles also function as the pre modifiers in a noun phrase there are two types of participles called present participles and past participles when they are used in a noun phrase they function as the adjectives and not as the verbs look at these examples diverting history which means history that diverts troubled soul that means soul that is troubled pleasing pain which means pain that pleases and pampered child which means child who is pampered thus in the sentence he is a pampered child pampered child is a noun phrase and pampered is the past participle that modifies the noun child it functions as an adjective modifying the noun child noun modifiers noun modifiers are actually the nouns functioning as an adjective in the sentence or in the phrase in a noun phrase most of the times we find two nouns occurring together in such cases the first noun modifies the second noun and serves as an adjective to the second noun for example cement road stone wall woodcutter steel body and so on in the first example cement road cement and road both are the nouns but cement modifies road and meaning becomes road of cement in the second example stone wall stone and wall both are the nouns but stone modifies wall and the meaning becomes wall of stone in the third example wood cutter uh, wood and cutter both are the nouns but wood modifies cutter and the meaning becomes cutter of wood in the last example steel body body and steel both of the nouns but steel modifies body and meaning becomes body of steel genitives nouns showing relation or position are called genitives genitives are generally formed by writing apostrophe s yes after a noun genitives generally work like possessives when they are used before another noun they function like an adjective that means they modify that noun look at these examples krishna's sudarshan which means sudarshan of krishna girl's performance which means performance of a girl kapil's philosophy which means philosophy of kapil and dharma's justice which means justice of dharma in all the above examples the underlined words are the genitive cases that modify the noun occurring after them that was all about the pre modification part of a noun phrase let's now talk about the possibilities of post modification in the noun phrase post modification is the part of a noun phrase that follows the head that is that comes after the head prepositional phrase non finite clauses that is infinitive clause present participle clause and past participle clause and relative clause can occur as the post modifying part of a noun phrase prepositional phrase prepositional phrase is a group of words that begins with a preposition and is followed by a noun pronoun or a noun phrase kindly refer to the video on prepositional phrase if you want to know more about the prepositional phrase prepositional phrase is commonly seen to be the post modifying part of a noun phrase see the following examples the girl with the golden hair the bird in the cage man of the match pride of lions and so on the underlined parts in these examples are the post modifying parts of the noun phrase if you look at all these four examples these post modifying parts begin with a preposition for example first begins with with the second within the third with of and the fourth again with of the structure of a prepositional phrase is preposition plus a noun or a noun phrase or maybe a pronoun non finite clauses subordinate clauses that begin with non finite verbs are called non finite clauses 
there are two types of non-finite clauses called infinitive clauses and participle clauses. Infinitive clause is a clause that begin with 2 plus infinitive and participle clauses are clauses that begin with the participles. There are two types of participles, present participle and the past participle. The clause that begins with the present participle is called present participle clause and the clause that begins with the past participle is called past participle clause. It is generally seen that infinitive clauses present participle clauses and past participle clauses form the part uh, part of the noun phrase they generally post modify the noun phrase look at these examples to understand it the bird flying in the sky if you look at this sentence flying in the sky is the post modifying part in this noun phrase flying in the sky modifies bird so it is a present participle clause in the second example, the car damaged in an accident. Damaged in an accident is the post-modifying part which modifies the noun car. In the third example, film to be seen. To be seen is the post-modifying part. It is an infinitive clause and it modifies the noun film. In the next example, the girl walking in the street. Walking in the street is the post-modifying part. It is a present participle clause and modifies the noun girl. In the following example, the man to be identified. To be identified is an infinitive clause and it modifies the noun man in the noun phrase the man to be identified. And in the last example, the movie released yesterday. Movie is the noun, head noun and released yesterday is the past participle clause which modifies the noun movie. Thus, you can see that the non-finite clauses, that is infinitive clause, present participle clause and past participle clause tend to modify, post-modify the nouns in a noun phrase. Relative clause. Finally, relative clause can also occur as the post-modifying part of a noun phrase. Relative clause is a clause that begins with a relative pronoun. Look at these examples. The first example is the lady who was fined. In this noun phrase, lady is the head and who was fined is the post-modifying part and it is a relative clause. In the second example, the tree that I have planted, that I have planted is a relative clause and tree is the head. In the third example, the street which is often crowded, which is often crowded is a relative clause and it post modifies the noun street. And in the last example, the actor who died last week, who died last week is a relative clause and it refers back to the noun actor. That therefore, it is the post modifying part of that noun phrase. Thus, we've seen that relative clauses, uh, non finite clauses, and prepositional phrases can function as the post modifying part of a noun phrase. It is important to remember that a noun phrase can be used at seven different places in a sentence. Noun phrase can be used as the subject, it can be used as the direct object, it can be used as an indirect object, it can be used as the subject complement, an object complement, adverbial, and also as the object of preposition. Let's try to understand it with the help of a few examples. Let's first of all understand LP as the subject. These examples. The boy is working hard. All the birds have migrated. The man in black is my friend. Noun phrase can also be used as an indirect object. For example, the postman gave me a parcel. They made me a few dolls. Manju taught her friend a lesson. The underlined words are the examples of indirect object in these sentences. Noun phrase can also be used as the subject complement. Look at these examples. Fatima is a famous artist. Taufik became an English professor. He was the Indian to go into space. Rupesh seems a brave boy. The underlined words in these sentences function as the subject complement. NP can also function as the object complement. For example, we elected Mr. Modi our leader. They appointed me a member of jury. 
the police called him a thief in these examples our leader a member of jury and a thief are the examples of object complement noun phrase can also function as an adverbial see these examples the campaign started last week they have been playing the whole day i have been reading the whole night in these examples the underlined words are the examples of noun phrase functioning as the adverbial and finally noun phrase also functions as the object of preposition see these examples i found him in the garden we worked together for a night she took me to the top of the hill in these examples the garden a night the hill are the noun phrases and they are functioning as the object of prepositions in for and the last one is of we've seen noun phrase and the classification of noun phrase that is head pre modification and post modification we've also seen what comprises pre modification of a noun phrase and what comprises post modification of the noun phrase i hope you have understood noun phrase in detail if you feel that this video is useful kindly subscribe like the video and share it with your friends thank you very much for watching